Hi, I'm Robert, and today I'm going to cover working at the speed of light. So hang on and watch out. Ask a concert photographer what they think the toughest lighting condition to shoot in. And a lot of times they'll say, oh, it's pink or green or blue or yellow. And it's indoors, not for me. The most difficult lighting condition for me to shoot in is always outdoors at festivals. Why? Wait a minute, you say, hey Bob, wait a minute, what are you talking about? Why? The reason is the light changes constantly. The angles change, the light change, clouds come in, clouds go away, you may have overcast, there's shadows that are harsh, there's highlights, there's all kinds of things. It's the most dynamic lighting conditions that you can ever shoot in. So for me, the most difficult lighting condition to shoot in is always outside and at festivals. Okay, the first thing I'm going to discuss is sun angle. You may have the sun behind the stage. You may have it directly over the stage. You may have it a little bit at an angle where it's facing the stage, but you have the front of the stage lit and the rear of the stage is in shadows. As time goes on, you may have a little more of the stage that's lit up, but the drummer's in the shadows. You may have full-on shadows or full-on sun as the day goes on. And full-on sun at the, in the, at the perfect time of day where everybody on stage is lit up. And then even later, you may have an up angle where the sunlight is on, where the stage may be on a hill, but the sunlight hits the front, the, the, the singer, the guitarist, the bass player, but the drummer may be in shadows still. In this photograph, you can see the front half of the stage is lit up, but not completely. And then at the rear, the, the guitarist on the left is in the shadows. Part of the problem with this is the stage roof and if you look behind you can see the palm tree in the back is lit up so this is where your problem resides the key to this is to wait until both people are in the same plane of light they're either in the shadows together or they're in the highlight bright light together that's the answer this is my solution shot i took a picture of the bass player with his head up facing into the sun and i got it's most of his face lit up and, and properly exposed. This solves a lot of issues. You still have its eyes covered, but it looks more natural. Once again, here is the positions of the sun chart. I will show another example in just a second, but this will give you a look at where the sun's going to be in a, in a timeline. Use the chart, keep an eye on where your light's going to be, and it'll work out better. In this photo of Big Joe Walker, you can see there's all kinds of things causing highlights and shadows all over this photograph. To some people, this might be acceptable, but there is much better than this. So take a look at this and look at all the shadows and the highlights. I reached in past Big Joe and I grabbed a shot of his drummer. This is done with spot metering, and as you can see, he's properly exposed, and there's a lot of different contrast and colors and shades within this photograph. The drummer is completely in the shadows, and Big Joe's standing in front of him in the light. You'll be able to see the difference in just a moment. By waiting for Big Joe to step out of the shadows and into the light, I created this photograph, which I think is a whole lot better than the first one. Take a look, and you'll see he's evenly uh, lit up and harsh shadows are still there, but they're in the back. As you can see from this diagram, the sun does not always go in a straight arc. Sometimes it is, it's at an angled arc and goes from one side to the other of the stage. At this point, you get side shadows and you get side highlights that you may have to deal with. And depending how they are, they may be very contrasty, really highlights and really shadows, so you need to be careful. As you can see from this photograph, one artist, half of his body is in bright light and the other half of his body is in shadow. There's another artist in the same picture and his body is all in bright light. So the two faces, one is in shadow and one is in highlights. That causes a great big mess. There are a couple solutions to this. One is to change your angle so that you have both artists at a little bit different angle. Another is to not take pictures of multiple artists at the same time. Concentrate on one artist so that you can zoom in on just them. By moving a little bit to the left, I might have been able to distribute the light a little better. 
you just have to take a look for yourself at the time and, and trust what you're doing. Planning beforehand before you shoot will save you a lot of time and a lot of headaches, so plan before you shoot. Patience and understanding your light source. The sun is very important. Know where the sun is going to be. Know where it will be 5-10 minutes from now and trust yourself to understand how that's going to work. Be very careful and use your resources. Here is another example of patience and understanding your light source, the sun. Take a look at these two examples and you will see the major difference between the two. They were taken only a few minutes apart, but it made a major difference. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you out a lot. I'd like to give a special thanks out to the Brian Shuck Band, Big Joe Walker, and uh, Two Tons of Steel for their pictures. Uh, all good. Thank them. And uh, please like, subscribe, follow, do whatever you do. And if you like the video, we sure would appreciate it. And we enjoyed doing it and I uh, hope you look forward to seeing more of our stuff. Thank you. Bye-bye.